What's going on, America? All right. So I uh, was watching, I think it might have been Fox News, and they pointed out the fact that within the last two weeks, the Democratic Party has given the GOP and all of the candidates running in 2020 so much ammunition. I'm talking they have given them nuclear weapons. They've given them uh, M16s, M60s, 50 calibers, 12 gauges. They've given them uh, Smith & Wesson 500s. They've given them everything they need to defeat the Democrats in 2020. So let's go through some of the things they've done. They have officially painted themselves as extremists in four categories they were talking about. And yes, they have done that in, a, in a, a time frame of two weeks because they have all of these radical young boys and young gals that they done elected based off of the rainbow coalition, not off of reasoning, not off of good policies, not off of being able to understand the hardworking middle-class American. No, they don't care about that type of diversity of thought and understanding our culture and understanding our values. No, all they focus on is looking like one big rainbow coalition. We got a Mexican, we got a, a Hispanic. Uh, wait, no, that's the same thing. All right, well, we got Japanese, Chinese, black, lots of women. We're heavy on the women. Okay, so lots of women makes us diverse and we got Muslims. We got um, everybody. Let's see. Well, did we miss anybody? We got oh, we got gays. We got um, what other things we need to make ourselves look good and look diverse and, and inclusive. Yeah. So what do you guys think about policies? Uh, well, I think that climate change is the number one issue and we need to go ahead and tear down our whole infrastructure and rebuild. Uh, you, you know what? You, you might not want to bring that up on the trail. OK, see, that's good and all. But let's keep that nice secret between just us. Let's keep that between us. We're going to get to that at some point, but you might not want to say that when you're out talking and things like that. Then they turn on the TV the next day and Andrea Alexandria Cortez is out there. The Green Deal. Um, Yeah, people won't have to work if they don't want to. We'll we'll go ahead and send paychecks to everybody. Everybody. Uh, If you work or you don't work, if you choose to work, it's OK. If you don't, that's fine, too. You're all going to get a paycheck and we're going to go ahead and destroy all of the infrastructure in America and rebuild it. And we're going to establish jobs, but those jobs are going to cut out the middle class because, see, they're not going to be uh, engineers. And unless you all know how to work ultratronic flip to triptors and, and peanut butter fibrillators, then you're probably not going to be in that class of workers that we're talking about is going to boost the economy. Oh, not to mention, we're going to do away with airplanes. And but, you know, what's crazy. I, maybe I didn't think about this. Are all the other countries going to do this as well? Because if not. We're going to be the only country without airplanes, which would make our military very vulnerable to attack. So we'll have to start going back to sticks and stones and rocks and things like that. Um, and then we're going to tear down all the buildings, tear them down or either just go in and gut them, renovate them, make them, you know, climate friendly. Oh, uh, get rid of these cows, too, because the breaking wind everywhere, farting all over the place, ruining the ozone layer. We got to get rid of all of this stuff, not to mention you guys, the American public is going to occur all the costs. Yeah. Now, that sounds pretty extreme to me. If I'm on the campaign trail, I'm hammering that in. I'm like, you know what they're trying to do? do, you, do that, is that who you want in? Is that who, that's what you want? Yeah, I will be all over that. Then, you know, of course, you get them in the huddle. Hey, listen, hey, 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 hey. Now, I know you guys are new and you're people of color and all different sexes and genders, but, but let's not act like we don't have any sense. Let's not get out of control. Let's keep it, keep it together. When you go out there, don't say anything too extreme. So it will reveal that we're really going after communism and we're really going to be trying to push our socialistic, globalistic agenda. Don't let them know that. Okay. Keep that under wraps. So press it down. Remember, subtle is better. You want to slide it in under their noses and one day they just wake up living in a communistic or socialistic society. But don't, don't reveal it. You're just showing your hand. You're showing your hand. Sure enough, turn on the TV. Alexandria Cortez, the tippy tippy tops should get taxed at 70 percent after they make 10 million dollars or so. And then her friend comes out and tops her. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe 90 percent. And the rest of the Democrats are sitting in there going, ay, ay, ay. They're killing us. They're killing us. Who brought these people in? What? We did. Shoot, I 
that is right. We were trying, oh, part of that stupid identity politics plan. Anyway, all right, how are we going to run interference for this? Because normal people hearing this is going to say they're extreme. What are they talking about? 70%. They're going to ruin the whole economy and the economy is doing great right now. And then they're going to go out there talking about some 70, 90% ridiculous and then of course you know they're all in there having a little meeting and they're like all right now listen come here all right look okay we are progressive but not stupid we don't want to come out and really show them how progressive we really are now keep keep it on the low turn on the tv all right abortions uh, we're fighting for women's equality and the right to choose and you can abort the baby when the baby's out you know, uh, you know what, my friend, let's just kick it up to two or three years after the child's born. If you just have a mental breakdown and it's too stressful, you know, just make whatever choice you want, um, because it's all about a woman's right to choose. And then all of America goes, what? Ho, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, look, maybe I wasn't, you know, anti-abortion, but at the same time, I'm not I'm not cool with seeing a full blown baby come out the womb and then y'all decide whether the baby live or not. Now, that's too extreme. That's too extreme. I'm pro-choice, but I ain't, you know, I'm not on that. And then they saw the heat and they're like, bring y'all butts back in here. Get it, get in here. How many times I tell y'all to keep our, our evilness under wraps? Y'all just letting everybody know how evil and wicked we really are, man. God dog, y'all killing us. Stupid identity politics plan. Yeah. And then of course, finally, uh, when it comes down to Immigration, you know, they all come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get in here. Man, y'all killing us. These last two weeks, y'all done, ooh, y'all got us looking real reckless and out of control out there. Out there aborting babies after they come out the home. Tax plans of 70 to 90 percent. I'm rich. That would mess me up. Shoot. Yeah, how you think Nancy and Chuck got all our we got all that money because we've been robbing look, man, never mind. That's neither here nor there. Listen, listen, listen. <sighs> Climate change thing. Cut that out. Just lay low. Don't say no. Don't bring it up again. You understand me, Cortez? All right. All right. Let's lay off the abortion. We're going to divert the attention from the abortion by throwing all this stuff on the Virginia uh, uh, governor. OK, we gonna focus on that. Get them attacking him on the racism and all that stuff. You know, right? maybe they dial on the abortion. But don't bring that mess up again. OK. And then on the uh, the, the, the tax policy, she keep uh -uh, uh -uh. we change that in the day tonight. They wake up the next morning and they get hit for, you know, 70, 90 percent. You don't tell them up front before we get our votes. Oh, man. All right. Now, immigration is going to be big. You know, they're going to be pushing that. But you got to, you got to act like you got some type of sense with the immigration. But no, no, no. Alexandria Cortez and them out there, the uh, Native American, I mean, Latinos were natives of this country and they have heritage with the Native Americans. We're entitled to this. And you got people out there talking about reparation for illegal immigrants. And you got people out there saying, I think we shouldn't have any borders at all. People should just run across. And everybody who disagrees is racist, sexist, uh, homophobic, xenophobic, uh, and you know what else. And now normal Americans are looking at this and they're saying they pretty extreme. See, they ain't even trying to downplay that they want globalism and no borders. Normally, Democrats, we're, uh, we're for uh, border patrol and protection as well. Just we just don't believe that the wall is the most efficient way to do it. And then you got the young guns out there talking about they should just be able to freely invade and go across borders. We don't need any of that stuff because everybody is just and, and then they're going to see, 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 there y'all go. Y'all, y'all killing us, killing us going into 2020. Y'all done gave the Democrat Republican Party a boatload of ammunition. And I hope they use every bullet going into 2020 every person in america whether you a snowflake or not need to hear their real agenda and they just helped us out for the last two weeks they have just completely destroyed the democratic party and nancy is over there trying to control the kids in the romper room right now because they are running crazy she's like sit down now go look wash your hands get over there and put that leave him alone go look go to the bathroom okay you sit come here hey you boy, you gonna make me whoop your hey, get off that camera. Get off the camera. Stop with green. What? Put that green. That, look, look. No more taxes. You look. Keep that. All right. Look, we got to we got to do something about these kids. They acting complete fool. But y'all brought that on yourselves because you want to be diverse. It doesn't matter if they got noodles. No, long as they look like a diverse group of people, right? You've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Find me every Wednesday, seven thirty. Live in Kevin's Corner on YouTube and on my live radio blog talk show. The link to that is in the bottom. 
Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. Um, click on that link, put my name in the promo code, and you'll receive a 20% discount. And then finally, if you want to donate to Kevin's Corner, there's a link in the bottom. Also, hit like, share, notification button, and subscribe. And then find me on Facebook and Twitter. All the links are in the bottom. All right, God bless you. See you next time in Kevin's Corner.